You remember what my favorites... Then we'll move on to, like, some of the usual stuff we do, Chrono. But, uh, I just want to show... You remember what my favorite Space Legion is... Or, my favorite chapter is, right, guys? The Lamenters? Yeah. The Tatarlons? The, the Lamenters. The fate of the Lamenters. Warning, uh, this is not funny. It's just depressing. Why do you gotta hurt the boy? Why you gotta hurt everyone by talking about the sad boys? Because you need to know why I love them. They're good people. Yes, I know. I shall ask something. Y yes, master. As the Astartes, for whatever lord reason, have had something like 26 different foundings, Absolutely. I demand a question answered pertaining to the 21st founding. Ah, yes, the reputed cursed founding. I was about to say, isn't that the cursed founding? Yes, it's the one the Lamenters are from. <sighs> Just Why like does the such black dragons, I think, are called. Patent superstition runs so rampant in my Are you ready, Chrono? The entire founding of Space Marine Chapters is literally labeled cursed in its official descriptors, as if a cabal of fucking yeah. wizards put an evil spell on it. Is that really so unlikely, Master? Take this limit. He's just got a good point. Is that so unlikely that a bunch of cr space wizards put a curse on them? I mean, technically the only reason it's not the cursed founding is because a bunch of, um, a bunch of tech priests got a bunch of gene seed. And then it did experiments, uh, experiments in secret, and then that's how we got a bunch of freaking weird chapters. Uh, yeah, chapters. they were, all these successor chapters had problems. The problem with the Lamenters was that they were made to reduce their blood thirst, you know, the thir the red thirst, you know, their thirst to drink blood, and also reduce the chances of the Black Rage happening, which is basically when St. Glenius died uh, in battle, his psychic shriek caused a all of his sons to go kind of crazy for a bit yeah. in, into something called the Black Rage where they believe they're Sanguinius and the person they're fighting is Horus. Who are they fighting? Everyone looks like Horus now except for your battle brothers. So they There's go apparently uh, there's a Blood Angel I think or one of the successor chapters uh, librarians who apparently got hit with the Black Rage twice beat it and he became stronger for it, and everyone's just like, okay, now you're messing with us. And they're like, no, it's a thing. Yeah. It's literally a thing. It's, so, it's insane. Like, you can go into the Black Rage and come out of it, but it's a lot harder. That's why they have, like, a death group of Marines that they just send in to kill stuff, because those are brothers that have been, as they say, lost to the Rage. Enter Space Marine Chapter 4. Uh, my boys. How could they possibly stand out from their Blood Angels brethren to the point of being officially labeled cursed when the likes of, say, the fucking Flesh Eaters remain undescribed as such? The Flesh Eaters do exactly what they say on the tin. They eat flesh. In fact, if you wish to go this route, I would even dare say in all my misery that the entire Blood Angels gene stuck his quote unquote cursed. Oh no, no the, the Lamenters are absolutely cursed. Yes, my boys are cursed. What the fuck? Uh, well. Here we go. This actually happened to him where they were fighting off a group of orcs on a planet that was completely covering them, and the Morificators, or the I forget how to say their name left them because they believed they were cursed and they were super superstitious. So the Lamenters had to fight them off for the longest time, barely holding on, losing so many men by themselves, until the White Scars and Ultramarines arrived to support them. Oh, wow. Yeah. And then this happens. <laughs> then they get lost in the warp for like a hundred years. Yeah. Now this I can play Slaughterhouse. Uh, basically what happened here was it was another group of orcs that had taken a lot of humans as slaves. And basically the Lamenters immediately shot down to the world, immediately tried to rescue the people, but they had no way of getting off the planet was a problem. And they couldn't get the people off either. And some people were succumbing to the Black Rage. Or some of their men were succumbing to the Black Rage. So, they were quarried by orcs and had nothing left. So, what do you think they asked from their ship? 
when they couldn't escape at all. It's Feminatus. Did they ask for an exterminatus? It was a bombardment on them. Yeah. Okay, do you remember the Bad Ant War? That's where, that's where the, uh, let's see. That's where the Space Marines, it's, uh, the Astral the Claws. Chap, yeah, the Astral Claws were rebelling against the Imperium because the fact is they were still, they were tired that a bunch of governors were fucking them over. Basically, so the, then the governors started. would fuck them over even though it was their job to protect the planet, but the governors wouldn't help them with that and would actually have them pay. Damn. Yeah, so then, so then the Astro Claws rebelled, uh, went into a war, a bunch uh, of Space Marines sadly died. Yeah, including, uh, they basically, the Inquisition and a bunch of others sent a bunch of other chapters to deal with the chapters rebelling. One of the chapters on the other side with the Astro Claws was the Lamenters, who, the reason they joined the Astro Claws is because the Astro Claws had helped them before in battle before, and they thought them as blood brothers. Yeah, so Space Marine chapters do, if they help each other, they kind of do like a blood brother thing where they, where they're like, if we ever need assistance, feel free to call on us. And the sad part is, because of the Bad Ab War, the Astro Claws left and became the Red Crusade. Which is, Red uh, which is a uh, road, not a road, it's a Chaos Space Legion. Sorry. Yeah, it's a Chaos War Band now, so they join Chaos, and... The Lamenters... I don't blame them. I don't blame them, though. This is one of the ones that feels justified, sadly. Uh, yeah, uh... I hate it, but it's justified. I, I'm i glad that the Lam that the Lamenters didn't fight the chapter of the Cacaridons, which had shown up at this point, and were, the Cacaridons were currently tearing apart the Mantis Lords. Uh, but they... Un hey, Unfortunately, they had to deal with the, the Minotaurs. Ah uh, yes, the Minotaurs, which apparently own, which apparently were once uh, ruled over slash commanded by the governors of Terra, by the High Council. Of yeah, and since they were involved in a rebellion, but eventually turned back because you know the Astral Claws turned to chaos, they had to go on a penance crusade, which means they get no recruits and are forced to fight for a hundred years. Yeah, and then they had to fight during the Red Terror, which is a bunch of uh, Tyranids that, uh, yeah. We try our best. We save your people. We stand by you. We love you. So please. The sad point about this chrono is they are incredibly nice people. They do their best to save as many people as best as they can, putting themselves like they are even above the salamanders in how hard they try to protect people. And they love the people that they try to protect, even though they are hated for being cursed. Well then. It's kind of why I love them. Is even though they are hated, even though they are disliked, they still try their best to save their people. Now, until the Ultima founding, there were like 30, 40 members left? Yeah. But thankfully they've had a, you know, resupply of units due to Primaris Marines. Yeah. Oh. And and that is the story of the Lamenters. What do you think, Chrono? Sad. <laughs> yeah, no, it is. Sad. It's really weird. I honestly think someone at GW created them just to hate them. Why? I don't oh, know. It, uh, there are actually a couple, um, 
there are actually a couple uh, chapters, like successor chapters that have gone extinct and are getting screwed over. One of my favorites is literally called the Celestial Lions. It's kind of oh, yeah. why I absolutely hate the Inquisition because uh, one time the Inquisition basically told them to do this, but the Celestial Lions are just like, hey, that's kind of messed up. They basically denied orders, and because of that, they the basically Inquisition said literally. Uh, the best way to describe it is they sent a complaint after what the Inquisition did, and the Inquisition got so pissed about that that they continually tried to get them killed. Yes, the Inquisition literally uh, considered them heretics and have this have essentially done everything in their power to make them go extinct, and they killed. Let's see. They lit at one point. They literally put them in missions that killed multiple of the multiple members of their state of their um of their uh, chapter. At one point, they had uh, their last uh, apothecary. Uh, you know what I'm trying to say, man. Basically, they sent one. They basically had him try to collect a lot of gene seed. They sent an assassin to kill him. Yeah. They had a chapter master that's just like, I'm gonna try my best. The assassin killed him. Then they asked for then they asked for um, some yeah, reinforcement they... with the Primaris. They it, they made sure to basically explode that while they had some Black Templars, or I think it was like Grey Knights on the thing. They basically killed them because they're like, oh yeah, no recruitments for you. And then at one point, the last time any news we got of them, they're like, we we're going back to their home world to recruit something, and they're like, yeah, we sent an assassin to their home world. It's just like. Yeah. The fuck is wrong with you guys? They literally made a single complaint, and they're apparently regna reg ah, renegades. renegades in your eyes. Yeah, that the, is so messed up. It is pretty messed up. The Celestial Lions are at least doing a bit better because they're best friends with the Emperor's Spears, but still, 